I'm sorry, but why are they using black bodies to show monkey pox outbreak in Europe? I think that's funny how y'all only showing black people with monkey pox. Yet, it started in Europe. Yeah, we know about playing this game already. You could have used a picture of the person who's got it there in the UK or the one who's got it here in the United States. Today we are going to be talking about the monkeypox virus that's been in the news for a few days now as there's been a spread in multiple European countries and in Northern America. When I first heard about this virus three days ago, I thought it was a new virus but come to find out after looking into the virus that it isn't a new virus at all. We are not necessarily going to be discussing the virus itself. What we are going to be talking about, the reason why I made this video is what stood out to me and other black people is how media outlets have chose to talk about this virus and show the virus to the rest of the world. I'm talking about how foreign media outlets are using black bodies to show monkeypox as they talk about the outbreak of the virus in Europe. African journalists have called them out for their actions and condemned them for it. But before we get to that, let's take a look at this clip. The UK is dealing with its biggest ever outbreak of monkeypox, here's what you need to know. Monkeypox starts with flu-like symptoms such as a fever or sore muscles, before developing into a spotty rash that usually starts on the face and spreads to the rest of the body. There are at least 20 reported cases in the UK, but what's causing the outbreak here is a bit of a mystery. Monkeypox is usually linked to travel in Africa and is spread by rodents. It doesn't transmit easily between humans. But while the first patient was someone who'd recently gone to Nigeria, none of the others have any travel history. Several of the people infected are gay and bisexual men. Now, monkeypox isn't an STD, but it can be spread by skin-to-skin -skin contact. That's according to the UK Health Security Agency. Most people who catch the virus recover in a few weeks, but some cases can become severely ill. There isn't a specific monkeypox vaccine, but the government is buying smallpox jabs, which offer pretty good protection as the viruses are quite similar. Experts say we shouldn't be too worried. Monkeypox doesn't spread easily, so the risk to the public is low. So I thought to play this short and pretty straight to the point clip so those who haven't heard of the virus before could get a little bit of education on it. But clearly, as we heard and saw, she was talking about the outbreak of the virus in the UK. But where are the UK photos? You're showing people who look like us on purpose. It's coming through travel to Africa. I don't even know one African person who has ever had monkeypox. And if they did in the past, we already know. Just like y'all infested the blankets for the Native American. These silly diseases, we know how they get to us. You're even explaining that the first person who got it traveled to Nigeria. It is spread by rodents. There's only one kind of people who even do things with frogs. And it is not us. You news channels of propaganda. Just stop it. Just stop. Stop. Just come out and say that y'all love interacting with animals in ways that we don't. Then come back and spread it to the rest of the population. It's that easy. These weird tactics of false narration to paint our continent as a disease infested place when the people of the continent are not even contracting these diseases. It's starting to sound like a broken record of lies. Anime, any too. Like, if you do a quick search of the virus here on YouTube, all you would find is them using black bodies to display this virus as they talk about how the virus is virusing in their countries. Like, what the actual hell? And the more I look into the situation, I come to find out that they are not even using recent pictures, they are using pictures from years and years ago. Not that them using recent pictures of black bodies is going to make the situation any better. I'm just trying to show the mindset of these people. Like they would rather go back in time and dig up old photos of African people with the virus than actually take pictures of their people that actually have the virus in their countries to showcase the virus. Like this is the mindset of these people. Like they have people sitting in their hospitals and quarantine area that have the virus. They could not go to those people and take their pictures and use their pictures to talk about the virus as the virus is virusing in their countries people already feel a certain way about black people and now they are going out of their way to make sure that this is part of our image why does an illness or a virus have to have a face on it why does a particular group of people have to be a face of a virus it doesn't make sense to me like they came with chicken pox amongst other viruses by the way but nobody's going out of their way to make them the face of those viruses like they do to other people it's just insane can these people freaking grow up African journalists condemn media outlets for using images of black people in coverage of US-UK monkeypox. Africa's Foreign Press Association has condemned media outlets that use images of black people alongside stories about the monkeypox outbreak in North America and the United Kingdom. 
The FPAA said it is disturbing that media outlets use stock images of monkeypox sufferers with black skin for stories about the outbreak in Europe and North America. The association condemned the perpetuation of the negative stereotype that assigns calamity to the African race and privilege or immunity to other races. The professional body urged outlets to instead use images of hospitals in Europe and the U.S. or failing that to show electron microscope images of the virus. The FPAA described the actions of media outlets as very insensitive and urged editors of news outlets to update their image policy. It also asked editors to censor their staff from using images of Africans, people of African descent or people living in Africa to cover outbreaks in the United Kingdom and North America. Monkeypox cases have been reported across at least a dozen European and North American countries this month. The monkeypox virus can bring on pus filled boils that hurt and are infectious for weeks. It can also cause symptoms of fever, headaches, swellings, and exhaustion, according to the World Health Organization. Monkeypox can be spread by close contact with an infected person or animal and by touching clothing or bedding used by someone with a rash, according to World Health Organization. Something else that I could not help but notice when I was looking into the virus is how they mentioned gay men when they were talking about the virus. Even in the video we saw earlier, she too mentioned gay men and bisexual men. This is a cutout from an article where they said cases have mainly but not exclusively been identified amongst men who have sex with men. When I first saw this, the first thing I thought was, was that really necessary? Because being a black person, being an African, I already understand the damage that stereotyping can do. Because people already feel a certain way about gay people, and this is not going to help that situation at all. As stated, it isn't a sexually transmitted virus, so why mention gay men at all? I just thought it was highly unnecessary, but that's just my opinion. I would like to know what you guys think. So the whole thing is just giving propaganda in my opinion. I remember a comment I came by that said they are making black people the scapegoat for this virus. And really it shows because we see their deliberate moves to do that. I am going to leave the video here. I think I have been able to successfully pass my points across. I don't want this video too long, but just in case you missed the points. Bottom line is, wherever the virus is virusing at, media outlets from those places should use images of people from those geographical locations wherever they might be who have the virus to depict the virus and fam make sure you stay safe out there they've said not to panic so hopefully this is not going to turn into another pandemic stay blessed always i'll see you guys in the next one